All right, what's good, man? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Ruler Gang. And I'm back with another video, man. And uh, apparently 600 Address getting kicked out of or being banned from uh, the 60s, man. But uh, before we get into it, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new videos. Now... There was this post that 600 made where he said that he was the king of this. You know what I mean? He didn't get specific in it. A lot of people felt like he was talking about he was the king of the 60s. As um, far as like people that made YouTube videos. And apparently some people who claim to be rolling 60s on Instagram. Now, a couple YouTubers made videos about this. 600 came out a couple of times and said that he wasn't saying that he was the king of the 60s. He cleared it up by saying that he was basically saying that he was a king of the boxing scene in L.A. Because he basically wasn't a boxer. Said that he wanted to be a boxer. And then I guess I think he had like 20 bouts, 19 wins or whatever. I think one loss or something like that. So he claimed that that's what he was talking about. He said he was talking about being a king of boxing. But in the post, he never said that. So a lot of people assume... That he was talking about he was the king of the 60s. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to just be all the way honest and real with y'all. Y'all know I be critiquing a lot of videos and stuff. Because that's what I do. I just do commentary. So, I'm going to keep it all the way real. I ain't saying that he was saying that he was the king of the 60s. But what I am saying is, 600 ain't stupid. So, I believe that 600 left it open for interpretation on purpose figuring somebody would grab it and 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 do whatever it's doing now in regards if he meant the 60s or not that's open for debate you know y'all can take his word for it or y'all can go ahead and you know that cuz was really talking about that he was the king of the 60s i don't know i ain't gonna put that on him i'm gonna say what i think but i'm gonna leave that alone at the end of the day though what i do believe is that even if he was somebody he was the king of the 60s he wasn't gonna come out and say that he didn't come out and say that. He said he was talking about boxing, but it gave people something to talk about. And if y'all watched his last live, he actually said, like, you know, people using his name to get views. His name do bring views to your channel, but it's based upon the drama and all of the other crazy clown activity that goes on surrounding his name on social media. So it's not about, it's not like you reporting on his name about positivity and you getting views. No. It's always a negative aspect or it's always about drama or it's also always about something dealing with somebody snitching or, or, or ratting or, or, you know, what I mean, people who got crazy, you know, stuff on their jacket. So at the end of the day, man, uh, 600 know what the hell he doing, man. That, that man ain't crazy. He ain't stupid. Again, I ain't coming on this video to say that cuz was saying that he was the king of the 60s because he said he didn't say it like that. So we're going to run with that. But you definitely left that open for interpretation uh, for somebody to speculate whatever they wanted to speculate. And it is what it is, man. But a few people, one of the one of the Rolling 60 members from jail is basically saying he ain't know about dude until like last year. Ain't never heard of him. Don't know him. You know what I mean? Uh, and when he said when he get home, he going to make sure he ain't in the hood. But then again, on, on the flip side of that, 600 is saying, well, the 60s is a big neighborhood like don't nobody know everybody but a lot of people have come out saying that nobody knows 600 but it's really been people who 600 been at it with like i haven't seen a neutral person come out and say like i really don't know cuz like from the 60s i ain't saying they haven't i just haven't seen it you know we haven't seen a big you come out and say he don't know um 600 as far as to my knowledge if he did y'all know it let me know in the comment section i didn't see it I know um, Cowboy is somebody who's saying that he didn't know who he was. You feel what I'm saying? But again, the 60s is a big neighborhood and the 60s is actually broken up in a different, I won't say different neighborhoods, but different parts of, of the 60s. You know what I mean? Like Arlington, Fernand, all of that. So you got different, you got different areas of the 60s in itself. You know what I mean? The 60s is a, as a, as a hood for sure, but it's different areas of that neighborhood just like the hoovers or anywhere else you know what i mean so it is what it is man but uh he's he's on record saying you know like i said he said everybody ain't gonna know everybody from the hood and 
I don't even, he's, I think he's saying he don't know these individuals, but he's definitely calling out people and challenging them. Like, meet me in the hood. People that's in his comments, meet me in the hood, meet me in the hood, meet me in the hood. One thing y'all got to remember is this. Cowboy is licensed to carry. Like, like y'all know, y'all know, if Cowboy say something crazy, y'all know I'd be on it. I mean, Cowboy. 600, 600 is licensed to carry, though. And at the end of the day, you know, if 600... If 600 say something crazy, I'll be the first one to call it out. At the end of the day, though, he is licensed to carry. So, I mean, you got to be careful when you run up on somebody that's licensed to carry because from what I'm, from like just everything that I witnessed all over the country, the people who licensed to carry, a lot of them is quick to pull, pull that hammer out and shoot because they feel like they got a license to carry. They got a license to shoot and they're going to get away with it. You know, so... To each his own. I ain't saying he gonna shoot or whatever, but be careful. But again, I, I feel like he left that. I'm the king of this, open to interpretation, open for other people to speculate on it, just to troll the whole situation. And really, that's that's what I feel like is gonna get 600 and more shit than anything. It's like all the trolling cuz be doing online. Like he might say he don't be trolling. He might act like he ain't doing this shit on purpose. But trust me. A lot of the stuff that he doing, a lot of stuff that he say, a lot of the conversations that he choose to talk about, he does it on purpose for views, regardless. Just like I'm talking about him on this particular topic because I want to talk about it for one, but for two, I know y'all going to watch it. But I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go, man. Listen, hit that like, share, and subscribe button, man. Tap in with me. I'll be back with more videos, more reactions. Y'all see I'm getting a lot more consistent with this, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Just keep fucking with me, cuz.